Hey angels, it's me Lisa. This is how I effectively got rid of dry hands and yes, yellow stained nails. I don't know if you get this problem, but I do. Since I love applying nail polish weekly, it's so embarrassing to leave my nails bare going out. And my hands were a hot mess. This cold weather makes them worse being so chapped. As you know, I work with my hands when crafting so my cuticles were not happy at all. Now here's my routine and this will give you instant results, I promise. For the hands, I have been using the Secret to Beautiful Hands 3-piece kit. I have attempted to make my own non-greasy hand cream but failed so I was excited when L'Occitane sent this healthy bio kit for me to try and I couldn't believe it. Within minutes, my hands never looked better before without that oily feel so I purchased this and more as the giveaway so make sure to check below for the link and how to enter. <laughs> this is kind of funny but this part I actually stole this item out of my uncle's bathroom because he wears denture and I thought this might work for my nails and it does so I'll show you how. Now you're going to need a buffer nail filer and you want to gently buff your nails first before you apply the hydrogen peroxide which you can get at the drugstore. Soak each nail for 15 seconds this will help remove any bacteria but also helps whiten your nails instantly. You might not see it, but trust me, if you take a photo before and after, you can tell a difference. Add one to two cups of warm water and a drop two whitening denture cleaner tablets. You can also find these at the dollar store or grocery store. The tablets will disperse into either a green or blue shade, which help neutralize the yellow color to the nails. And make sure to soak for about 20 minutes. Now it's time to pat dry. That looks so much better, no more stains. Repeat every two to three days if your nails are deeply stained from overuse of nail polish. Ever wonder why our hands get so dry no matter how many times we apply lotion? Well, just like your skincare, you have to exfoliate to remove the top surface of dead skin. So I'm using the Shea 1 Minute Hand Scrub. What I thought was kind of unique was it's mostly consistent of different types of oils, which works the best when your hands are dry. I recommend to gently rub your problem areas in a circular motion and all over your hands at a sink or place a towel down because it does get messy. So you will notice after exfoliation of that top layer, you're able to hold in the moisture because the healthy skin cells drink it up. Let's talk about my cuticles. They are the worst lately, so the next step is targeting that with the Shea Nail and Cuticle Cream. I add a tiny drop to each nail before pushing my cuticles back, and this will help remove it too. So I noticed that once I apply this on with the Shea Butter Hand Cream, my nails grow a lot healthier since I'm always chipping my nails. This is actually kind of interesting fact. Did you know that the Shea Butter Hand Cream is sold every 3 seconds around the world? Yeah, you may have seen this in Sephora. I actually have a few travel size. My favorite scent, if you want to know, is mango flower. And the next step, if your hands are intensely dry or you want extra pampering and loving to your hands, use Shea Butter Hand Cream and wear a pair of socks or these aloe infused gloves. I love these pink ones overnight. Your hand will get back its youthful look by morning, plus this will help make them feel so soft. My last tip for you guys, if you're into painting your nails often, use a base nail polish to help your nails from getting stained over time. I didn't in the past, but definitely now. This is my favorite because it's a base, but also you can use it as a perfect nude shade for any skin tone. I hope you guys like this. Make sure to subscribe and check out for more videos.